Um, yes, so the next question is, we talk about how intranets must improve productivity, but can we really measure productivity? I think we, uh, in our rotation, we're back to Gabriel leading off, please. Uh, okay, uh, from, from our side, we have, um, I think, I would say, we have been measuring the last two, three years, what we would call productivity, uh, which is really measuring how end users are able to solve their tasks on the internet. Uh, we have a, a very well developed method that is now accepted throughout the company. And that, with that method and that acceptance we have for it, we can demonstrate from case to case to case to case that we are improving the, in their productivity for our employees, saving time for the company, time that people can use for more productive stuff than searching for something that they can't find on the internet. And, and if I could just follow up, because I'm familiar with Gabriel's situation, uh, you went from this much information on your internet to this much information on your internet. Can you give a sense for the audience of the scale that where you were and where you are now? Yeah, I mean, we, we have done a lot of things. But basically, we, let's say we started with some 700,000 pages. We didn't know really. It was, we didn't know. And one day, two years ago really, we pushed the button and simplified now, pushed the button and reduced over s around 60% of all pages of all the information on the internet was removed one Monday morning and we were sitting there and waiting for the hell to break loose. And do you know what happened? Yes? Nada. Nothing. <laughs> so that was one thing. And then we have continuously been working, my team here, uh, been working, having students working with tough work on an everyday basis, more or less, to just identify old items that are not used, that are not uh, reviewed, etc., and remove and remove and remove. It's not a very fancy job to do, but it's done. And I would say that we have reduced from, with oh, the, con the amount of content by 80%, to, to summarize a very rough figure, by 80%. And of course, one of the key advantages is you've reduced the number of pages that are being searched so the search results presumably are more targeted because of that. None of the clutter is in there. All right, sorry for probing a little bit, but I knew uh, Gabriel's story in particular. Christy, if you would, please. Yeah, we did something similar with our redesign. We had thousands and thousands of pages, and from you know newsletters at a plant to some, you know, three people got together and made a website about something with a friend from IT. So we did a similar process where we went through and got got rid of a lot of the um, excess, but one of the things we did to do that is we came up with um, official guidelines um, for what determined what belongs on the internet and what needs to really find a different solution. And we um, put it through senior management, got buy-in, uh, got our uh, compliance and legal to kind of put their official stamp on it. So then going forward, when um, anyone comes to us and this might be kind of a tangent from the question, but when anyone comes to us with a request for something to go on our internet, we can pull out these guidelines and say, well, let's make sure that you go pass all of these um, kind of check marks, if you will, and um, if they do, then we work with them going forward. If not, then we can point them in a different direction. But that definitely um, cut out a lot of the, the information overload. Um, and then also just adding a search tool for us probably increased Productivity, but I think to answer the question, I think you can def there could definitely be a science to measuring whether you improve efficiencies with tasks. I think uh, Nielsen Norman actually had an exercise where you have an, an, a list of tasks and you, you literally time employees going through and doing each task, and then you make changes and then you time them again to see if there's any um, time improvements. But recently, a lot of the things that I've read have kind of put that as. Um, not necessarily an old mindset, but it's not as important as it used to be. That it's more of it, that definitely productivity is important, but it's more about engagement and um, getting people uh, engaged in the content involved. So I don't know if anybody else has heard that, but I've kind of heard that the very task measuring time for tasks isn't as important of a metric as it used to be. But that's just what I've heard. Uh, Martin, please. Yeah. Um, 
Can it be measured? Yes, of course it can. Um, I don't have a golden rule, um, but very inspired by Gabriel and all the work that he's been doing, we are looking at something similar, cleaning up and kind of identifying the top tasks, because as I said in the beginning of what to have on your front page of the internet, it's important that you can get to the, the most important tasks first uh, or easily. And that will improve productivity, and it will also make people come back. And that's actually back to something Bert said, that it needs to look nice and it needs to be useful. Otherwise, people, they won't use it, and it will get a bad reputation. So, and, and that's also building a little bit on uh, what you say, Christy, with uh, the old Taylor, uh, Tayloristic approach to, to things, where you have to measure everything, and you need to be quicker and quicker. What does it mean that to save five seconds every day, times whatever? I don't think that uh, calculation goes over well at all, uh, but sure, sure, it can be measured. Julian, please. Uh, yeah, it can be measured. Um, I think uh, what Christy was referring to is something that I'm starting to, to think is that um, a lot of people talk about return on investment for your internet. We had a conversation at the, one of the workshops on Tuesday about what happens when your internet goes down. Um, do people notice? How long does it take before the phone starts ringing? Um, and actually, um, the internet is just an in integral part of your um, organization. Um, now, within different organizations, they, are, they, are, could, they can be quite different and do quite different things, so they're a reflection of, of each of our cultures, if you like. So one internet won't be uh, uh, the same as another, or, or do things in quite the same way, or do some things at all. Um, but the, the, the sort of the observation I wanted to make is that uh, slowly by slowly the intranet is turning into the telephone in the sense that no one says what's the return on investment of a telephone or how do you measure the value you get by being able to use the telephone and I think um, I do think it's useful to be able to measure some of these things as it happens but I think as we as as the intranets mature um, and we are allowed to do our jobs better, um, uh, then, then they will, the internet will, will increase in value and they will just become, it becomes self-evident that they are um, essential. And uh, the, these sorts of measuring productivity and ROI type questions will, will continue to um, reduce. But aren't people wasting a lot of time on the telephone? <laughs> 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 there you go.